What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom shortcode plugin for WordPress. Now, a shortcode is basically a small tag that you can put into content on pages and posts that allows you to echo a large amount of information into the page without you physically writing it out. So you can use um, so you can e use shortcodes for tables, galleries, posts, list of posts. The, then again, WordPress does have a, a shortcode to do that, but there are m there are many other ways of using a shortcode, and there's, there's there's tons of stuff out there that you could try. So, but for this instance, we're just going to build a basic shortcode and look at the how it works and how uh, what we can do to change and obviously manipulate it to do what we want. So on my left hand side, I've just got a basic page template or a basic page called shortcode test page. And I've just got a little bit texture to describe what it is. Uh, there are no shortcodes on this page right at this instant or, or you would actually see them. And on my right, I just have my uh, shortcode plugin. Uh, I'm in my plugin directories of my WordPress site. As you can see, WordPress content plugins, my shortcode. And I've created another file in a folder called my shortcode called shortcode.php. And this is it here. It's just got a bit of licensing text just to tell WordPress that this is a shortcode. Now, the first thing we need to do is obviously write our function for our shortcode. So we're going to start it off by just saying function shortcode func funct. Uh, and what we're passing through, we've got some attributes that we can pass through. Short nil a equals short code Ooh, ats. Yeah. Gray, because we've got a list of um, attributes that we want to use. The first attribute that we want to do is we're going to just use name. So we might as well just use it for sake. Now, if you don't put any value here in between these speech marks, it, it won't show anything. As in, if you just if you left it, the name part of the shortcode blank, it won't show anything. But, but this is where we can put a default value in. So if no, no one puts anything, then it will show this value instead. So I'm just going to put in my name as a default value. Create another one called age equal to if it's blank. Then we'll just say my age is 30. Okay. We just want to declare the attributes after. Right. Now, what do we want to do with those attributes? Obviously, we're just going to return them. We just want to return those attributes for now. Name. Ooh. Name. Can't do it. There we go. A.name. Period. And then we're just going to break it up. I'm just going to put in age. Okay, and shut that off. Right, so now we need to actually declare it to WordPress. So we're going to go add shortcode and the string, this the tag, or the, the actual shortcode tag to activate, in this case will be gonna be called my short code. Now the function, what we, what we want to call when the, short, the my shortcode tag is used is gonna be shortcode funct. Okay, and that's it. That is literally all you need to do if you were gonna make your own shortcode. So now let's put it into practice. Let's just save that. Let's go over to our shortcode test page. Go to edit page. And in here, we're going to start our shortcode. So it's a square brackets, my shortcode. Now I'll leave one blank just to prove that the default values work. And underneath it, we're going to go my shortcode. Where this time, we're going to declare our, our uh, attributes. So name is going to be Josh. And the age is going to be 25. Okay, so let's update that. Head over to the page. And as you can see, it's put the default that we didn't put any attributes in the first one. So we've just got my name and 30, which again is the same here, my name and 30. And then we've declared some attributes. So I've put in Josh 
and 25. Now that's a basic idea of how to um, make a short code and use it in, in on your WordPress site. But if you want to maybe if you wanted to pull in um, perhaps HTML or you wanted to do a massive a large HTML block with divs and other stuff, then you can also do that as well. So we're going to just grey out this return line here, come out of PHP, and back in again. PHP. Now here is where I can write my HTML. So in this case, I'm just going to do h1. I'm going to put my name is colon into PHP echo attributes name semicolon back into PHP so my name is and then underneath I'm going to put a paragraph tag and put my age is colon back in PHP echo attribute wait there we go age Okay, let's close this, make that a bit shorter. There we go. Save that, go back into the shortcode test page and just refresh. And as you can see, it's made the my name in a big H1 and it's put my age is 30 in a paragraph tag. Now that is the basic understanding of short codes. If you want to learn more, I will put the shortcode API codex from WordPress down in the description below. Um, you can also check out my other video on how to make a custom CSS and JS plugin because in case obviously if you're using your shortcode you may want to bring in styles and JavaScript as well. So that is quite handy is handy. So you might as well just check that out. Um, but yeah, if you like this video guys, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like it, also let me know in the comments so I can improve. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.